Hello there and welcome. The seasons are changing and I need to switch up my hair gels to accommodate the weather. I don't want to waste money on a product that won't work for me, so I have collected a whole ton of gels in a table and compared their ingredients. This is similar to the tables that I made when I was trying to find a sulfate-free shampoo, if you're interested. In this video, I'm going to talk through some of the gel ingredients, and then I'm going to talk about how you try to pick a gel that works for different weather conditions. If you don't need that, and you're just here for the information in the table, that's great. The link is in the description box. Just give me a like and a subscribe on the way out so I know the information was useful to you. So how do we choose gels that work with the weather? There are a lot of good articles written about this which I will link below and this is where I've gotten most of my information. To briefly summarize, your hair needs the right amount of water for optimal curls. If there is low moisture in the air, the hair can lose water to the environment and get dry. Hair wants to equilibrate with the environment. Likewise, if there is high moisture in the air, hair wants to grab onto that moisture and it can get too frizzy. The ingredients in our gels can enhance or inhibit this property of hair. What ingredients am I talking about? Small molecule humectants. These humectants enhance the property of hair to hold on to moisture in high humidity and give up moisture in low humidity. Gels with these ingredients are great because humectants bring water into the hair and help it hold on to water as it dries. This keeps the curls hydrated throughout the day. However, these small molecule humectants like glycerin have the tendency to help the hair give up moisture into the atmosphere when it's dry outside and also to hold on to too much water when it's humid outside. But there are also film forming humectants. Some of the film forming humectants are on this list. These molecules attract water and then form a seal around your hair. Ideal for keeping the water in your hair more constant regardless of the humidity. Because they are film formers, they may cause buildup in your hair, and this is something you can find out by trial and error. So those were natural humectant film formers. Next we have synthetic molecules, um, polymers and film formers. These are synthetic molecules that also form a film around the hair, and they work the same way to keep the moisture levels around your hair constant no matter what the humidity is outside. However, they do not add any water of their own. Because of that, these ingredients might cause dryness in very dry weather if not combined with other moisturizing ingredients. Ingredients on this list are especially good in high humidity. Be aware that silicones and polyquats can cause buildup for some people. I have highlighted a few ingredients in my tables because these are uh, very common ingredients since some people have very good reasons to avoid. Glycerin is a very common ingredient, and as I mentioned, many people need to avoid it in high or low humidity. Shea butter and coconut oil can be too heavy and build up for some people and weigh down their hair. And then polyquats can cause build up and weigh down some people's hair. I've pulled some information out of the tables for this video that people might find useful. For instance, these are all of the glycerin free gels that I have currently listed in the table. Again, the link to the table is in the description box below. Now, these are gels that contain a film forming polymer and don't have any glycerin, so they would be especially useful for high humidity conditions. These gels contain polyquats. Some people avoid them because of buildup, but they're also very good for high humidity. And because a lot of people are interested in whether or not products have protein, this is the list of protein free gels and these are the gels that contain protein. Products can change formulation, so always check a product's ingredients before you buy it. After reading the articles that I've linked below, I've developed some guidelines for picking gels. You are welcome to use mine, see if they work for you, or read the articles and develop your own. For high humidity, rule number one, avoid small molecule humectants in the top five ingredients. As a caveat, they may be okay if they're not in the last product you put on your hair. Number two, adjust or leave out the leave-ins and hair creams. Depending on your hair type, you may need less moisture in high humidity. If you still need a leave-in or cream, try to find one with no or low glycerin and maybe use products with less heavy um, ingredients. For dry weather, 
Number one, again, avoid products with small molecule humectants like glycerin in the top five ingredients. Again, with the caveat, you might be able to get away with it if they're not in the last product you put on your hair. Number two, use those leave-ins and hair creams. Don't forget to deep condition. And number three, try to prioritize film forming humectants over film forming synthetic molecules because the synthetic molecules may lead to more dryness. All right, now that you know all about gel ingredients, hopefully you can save some money. As always, thank you for watching and stay curly.